A startup in Utah County is building farms vertically, and they say it can save 90% of the water that's otherwise lost. Yeah, they are now trying to prove that the idea can be profitable and sell it as the farm of the future. The specialist Mike Anderson shows us how it all works. For Sean Burroughs, the quest to build something more sustainable. We've been developing this for a little over 10 years. Started as something he and his father, Ken Burroughs, did for fun. Just a hobby and a passion, and it turned into something that is now a business for us. It's all built on a concept called aquaponics, where fish waste from these tanks gets turned into fertilizer to then water seedlings down below and plants up above. But it never drains anywhere. It goes from the fish tanks into the growing system and then it circulates through the system. But Burroughs says the challenge in aquaponics is in making it cost-effective and profitable. Their proof of contact will come in this farm they're currently building out. These are very scalable. You can go as small or as big as you like. Keeping costs down comes in the plastic planters. And these towers actually pull out and um, are really easy to harvest and plant and clean all in one area. To the fish tanks that will hold 2,000 trout each. Eventually, these 1,950-gallon tanks will have some windows, Burroughs says, but all this stainless steel makes it easier to regulate the temperature inside, making them more energy efficient. Even the planting process is designed to cut labor costs with the help of these sponges made of dirt and coconut fibers that can be seeded by machine. 36 within seconds, Burroughs says the fish and produce will be sold to restaurants and catering companies. So we're doing kale and chard and arugula um, in these top towers. Anything left over, he says, will be donated to food banks and shelters. The hope eventually is to sell the business model to others who are looking to take farming in a new direction. Hopefully get it out there and help people grow their own food and provide sustainable agriculture. In Provo, Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.